Parker. Alex Chin spent decades wowing people, both with his food and his big personality. He died yesterday, but all those people he left a mark on over the years are ensuring his memory lives on. Brad Underwood joins us from outside his restaurant as the industry reflects on his loss. Hi, Brad. Well, good evening, Morella. You know, the restaurant is closed at this hour. There is some wax on the sidewalk outside the door from a memorial candle that was lit yesterday. But, you know, if you go back even 40 years to his first restaurant in St. Bernard, fast forward to the last couple of Shanghai Mamas in Shanghai on Elm here. When you met Mr. Chen, you were going to get some excellent food from a legendary man. His food? Well, if you've had it, you know. But it's Alex Chen's personality, the smile that lit up any room that will live on forever for many people. He is a funny man. He has a warped sense of humor. Uh, you know, everybody that's met him and got to know him, loved him. Uh, it's a really good, uh, really good man. Frank Papilla first met Chen 35 years ago. He did maintenance work from time to time at his restaurant. And as the years went on, that relationship developed into a friendship. His Charisma, his, his, um, his, just his electricity he had with people. Um, you know, he, I don't think he's ever met anybody that wasn't his friend. Um, you know, he was well liked everywhere, and uh, he'll be greatly missed in the uh, in the community. And that's evident on social media: posts of condolences, high praise of his food, and shared memories. Chen ran Shanghai Mamas on 5th Street for decades. Then last year, he was forced to leave when the building was sold. He eventually moved to the other side of downtown, opening Shanghai on Elm earlier this year. This is video of him giving us a tour inside that new location. While he made so many people feel like family at his restaurants, he was a family man to his wife, Lisa, and of course, his dog, Mushi. Now, if you uh, know the Chen family, you know how important Mushi uh, is to the family. You know, talking to his wife, Lisa, tonight, she said he loves that dog more than anything in the world. But she also wanted me to tell all of our viewers tonight that the restaurant will be open on Wednesday so they continue the legacy and the dream of Chen here in downtown Cincinnati. Morella. Well, I hope that everybody gets a chance to get out there and support him and honor him. Thank you, Brad.